And now let me usher in Brian Gad with our special feature, My Hustle, My Life, My Story. In this growing gig economy, many individuals are taking on side hustles to earn supplemental income and achieve their goals. There is opportunity aplenty for small businesses from food to home entertainment to office supplies. After unsuccessful job hunting, a 26-year-old graduate decided to better his life through Bungoma Glassmart in Bungoma Town. Wafula Simi, who is the founder of this establishment, shares his story. He tells the need to get creative and venture into entrepreneurship with little capital one can get. My name is this is my business, like Bungoma Glass Limited. It is by there registered company. We registered the year 2019 after I graduated. Mm -hmm. I was in the university. I was in the university of chemistry. But I was in Kenya. I was in the university of 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 Kenya. I was in Mm-hmm. The How old are you? I'm only 26. So what would you say is your biggest achievement so far? It's running my company. Mm. Because literally in Kenya, running a business more than two years is considered as most, 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 most businesses fail in the first year. And do you have conflict of interest given that we do the same as in Ethanda with it that short period of time? So do you find that sometimes customers will fail to come by perhaps sheets of plastic if they want just because the price has gone too yeah, much higher? Yeah. Some customers may come here and say, Oh, you have I should come maybe after two years mm -hmm. or after three years. So, sometimes mm -hmm. a customer will come here, he can, he can wait for the room until the next government. So, given your education level to right now where you are being self employed. Uh, does this hustle somehow um, strengthen or weaken your skills? What I learned in school is not what I'm doing that. Mm. But I'm not saying that I regret yeah. going to school and doing chemistry. When at the end of the day I'm not doing any chemistry or anything. Mm -hmm. It is maybe by God, fair one choice, and I had to go to school to understand how to do a school. Despite that, the world of the chemistry has also did some entrepreneurship units, IG, and I can say entrepreneurship units, and one of my courses, they may be the medical area, with many ideas. 
so as a 26 year old also from uh, they, they find it difficult like they ask questions like where am i going to find my initial capital i do not have money so how did you go about yours when i was in school i used to I, I, I was like somehow a casual neighbor to mm-hmm. a hard way in the form of what we call the Rubik Prize. And I used to pay me around 8,000 while I was going. So because I was in school, I did not have that time. You have to spend your personal opinion and to be able to win. So I saved from the period of two years, from 2017 to 2019, I saved for, for around, around 150k, mm-hmm. in which I came back, uh, and that was the same capital for me. To hold down a small business means to have a knack of planning. The schedules for Wafula Simiyu, who does it, reveals this commonality. This business, I have, I, I have in mind that after the pandemic and after the electioneering period in Asia, I will look for maybe somehow an investor mm-hmm. or maybe a founder mm-hmm. and I will increase my, my stock mm-hmm. so that I can compete favorable with this big other audience. And who are your biggest competitors around here in Bungoma? Three major competitors, that's Fairdale, England, then the Green Hardware, and then the Airbus. Another hardware called Clint. Those are my main competitors. So how do you ensure you put up with them since you say they are already established? My my target is that I usually deal with food specimen. Because food is at the people in the at a, at a good uh, customer today. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, the brothers come again at a mulet. It is like a construction business. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, the only people who are, I deal with and who I know can bring tremendous results. And running my own business has given me like, that freedom of doing that. It is not a five or uh, an eight to five. Business. Sometimes, because I started this business at around the last year. I made a choice that I will turn into school mm-hmm. to do something correlating to construction. So I'm still a student. I try to analyze the skills and diploma in engineering, which will give me a wider knowledge on construction. You still want to stick to Google Matalan or move elsewhere? I'm very comfortable that I grow old in this town. How are you? Business wise. Business wise, I'm going to be And for sustainability, how do you manage uh, the business and funds? That's why I have a G number. The G number is going to be to my bank. I usually use it to that. And they have helped me so much. Like when the pandemic struck, yeah. they were first. Like flat like a little bit If it is a bank, I will a friend. In which I went there and confirmed that they always tend to make sure they small business people are protected. They can guarantee you up to 500,000 loan amount without you having a a physical guarantee, like maybe a car or a title deed. The the only consideration is my my, my book. They they check my transaction first. The, the transaction account, in this transaction, then they also check my 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 books, the, the balances, and the account. And what advice do you have for young twenty-six year olds? They do have passion for doing something. 
Starting a hustle is one of the smartest financial moves one can make whilst a shaky economy. The future of this Bugoma glassmart seems ambitious, with the owner being optimistic that he will expand in the near future. For Maisha TV, my hustle, my story, I am Brian Gadd.